Ah, remember the thrilling feeling of opening up your lunch and finding your favorite snack in there? That was a million times better than not getting picked last for kickball or having an early dismissal, right? Lunch was the best. I see you're drinking 1%. Is that because you think you're fat? But the joy of youth is fleeting, and you can never go back again, especially now that these lunchbox staples of your youth are officially extinct. Dunkaroos Betty Crocker's Dunkaroos were a 90s lunchbox essential. If you had a package of these cookies with dippable frosting, you pretty much had carte blanche to trade snacks with any kid in the lunchroom. A kangaroo could never steer you wrong. Dunkaroos were discontinued in the United States back in 2012, but if you're still fighting off the shakes from late-night Dunkaroo cravings, there is a way. Canada still has Dunkaroos on store shelves. In 2016, General Mills announced the Smuggleroos campaign to encourage millennials to ship the sugary snack across the border to U.S. fans in order to boost interest in the fading brand. But while they might still be available in Canada, General Mills can no longer advertise these sugary snacks to kids under the Canadian Children's Food and Beverage Advertising Initiative. So, unless you start smuggling, these two may go the way of the dodo. Dunkaroos, Dunkaroos, you don't just eat your Dunkaroos. High C Ecto Cooler. High C, High C, it tastes so wonderfully. Any variety of High C was a lunchbox favorite, but everyone wanted the one with Slimer on the box. High C Ecto Cooler was a green tangerine flavored juice drink made for any kid who looked at Slimer and thought, yeah, I'd drink that. Despite Ghostbusters declining in popularity with kids, the drink stuck around until 2001, even though it was a promotional product for the animated series The Real Ghostbusters, which only ran until 1992. Ecto Cooler was a rare example of a promotional product being even more popular than the cartoon it was supposed to represent. The drink was brought back in boxes and cans for the summer of 2016 in honor of the Ghostbusters reboot, but was sent back to the grave again in December 2016, leaving 90s kids high and dry. Squeeze-its The 90s was the golden age of lunchbox juices, and squeeze-its were king. Plastic bottles shaped like cartoon characters that came in flavors like Chucklin' Cherry, Mean Green Puncher, and Silly Billy Strawberry. And who could forget the color-changing squeeze-its, which included a tablet that changed the color of the drink? Unfortunately, 2001 proved to be the death of many novelty drinks, and General Mills shut down production. Sorry, smarty arty orange, we hardly knew you. See you drinking squeeze-it, punk! I want answers! I haven't touched a drop in weeks, I swear! PB Crisps Released in 1992 and discontinued only a few short years later, PB Crisps were peanut-shaped graham crackers with a sugary coating on the outside with a tasty peanut butter cream inside. Planners also released Chocolate Crisps and PB&J Crisps, but those two variations were pretty rare even back during the brand's heyday. Over 20 years has passed and nothing on the market available right now is similar to PB Crisps. What about Nutter Butters, you say? Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 So delicious. Fruit snacks were always a safe bet, but there were hundreds of different varieties. You could have your snack shaped like sharks or Garfield, or if you were boring, in the form of a roll of tape. Time to head on home. Send that to his son. As soon as my fruit by the foot is done. With So Delicious, you could have your fruit snacks shaped like soda bottles and mugs. So Delicious originally came in cherry, cola, and root beer flavors. Betty Crocker later brought on Cool Spot, 7-Up's mascot of that same era, and flavors were changed to Red Punch, Grape, and 7-Up-inspired Lemon Lime. Because the market was completely saturated, So Delicious practically faded away into the fruity abyss sometime in the mid-90s. Hostess Ninja Turtles Pies Released in 1991 to promote Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, The Secret of the Ooze, these fried Hostess pies were, quote, fresh from the sewers, with a radioactive green crust and filled with, we quote again, vanilla pudding power. Like the ninja rap, these pies didn't make it past the 90s, but nostalgic nuts want these bad boys back. Despite other brands bringing back beloved foods for movie tie-ins, Hostess hasn't re-released turtle pudding pies for any of the recent TMNT movies. That pretty much makes them worse than Krang. You thought you were going to have it all! Instead, you have zip! 
Thanks for watching. Click the mashed icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.